Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Fixes back to another Simple Planes video. Today we are checking out this Boeing E3 Sentry, and um, yeah, I'm not really too sure what we're going to do with it, because it doesn't really work in-game, uh, but we're going to take off anyway, we're going to fly around the island, we might even fly... How about we try and take off from here, we land at Wright Airport Island, whatever it's called, uh, the other island over there, and then I guess we'll see what happens from there. We might even try and land this on the USS Beast. Uh, that's probably not a good idea, but... I don't know. Maybe we can go for it. Alright, so we are ready to fly. Uh, if you guys want to know who built this, it was built by Wallaby. Let's go ahead and put the flaps down, which is just here. Oh yeah, look at that. They look beautiful. In fact, this entire plane looks beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take off. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Here we go. Yes. All right. Okay, so um, this is a beautiful looking aircraft. Uh, apparently, it's a very old aircraft, which he said in the description. He calls it a modern warfare. Well, he says modern warfare with a boomer aeroplane. Uh, because this thing is um, 43 years old, he says. Made in 1977. That is insane. <laughs> that is very, very old. Anyway, uh, we're going to get in the air. Uh, and we're gonna land at the air airport around the corner. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm actually struggling to speak in this video. I don't know what's happened. Anyway, the front landing gear is in the air, the back landing gear is now in the air. The whole plane is in the air, perfect. Uh, the landing gear should be coming up. Yeah, it comes up very slowly, beautiful. We've got working doors, apparently. Look at this. Hold on, let's see if they actually... Oh yeah, that folds into black. Oh, and then they... Oh, they close... That is beautiful. That looks fantastic, actually. Anyway, uh, we can probably get rid of this now. We're just gonna we're just gonna put those up. Beautiful. And um, wait, does this spin? I don't know if that spins. Hold on, let's have a little look. Tips. Hold on. Right, we got beacon lights plus smoke. Smoke versions only. Wait, does that spin? All right, one makes this spin too. Interesting. Why are we like nosing up so far? Stop it. Stop nosing up so much. Jesus. There we go. All right, beautiful. Uh, the wings have flex in them, if you guys are seeing that. That's awesome. Uh, and everything actually appears to be going quite well. Yeah. All right, two is speed brakes. They pop up on the wings, as you guys can see. Um, three is reverse thrust. We might have to use that. <laughs> four is taxi lights and wing lights. So if we press four, uh, you got the lights right there. We've also got the lights right there. Awesome. Uh, five is landing lights, which I don't... They might be on the landing gear, actually. They might be on the landing gear. Uh, we're going to put that back up as well. Uh, and then six is nav lights. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Uh, there's the runway we're supposed to be landing on. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put our landing gear down. Yes. We'll go ahead and slow it down a bit as well. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Okay. And um, yeah, this is fine. This is, this is completely fine. Um, he does have tips on here. Uh, activate 5, activates the landing lights, make sure they are attracted above 200 knots, or else you, wait, or else you can pretend, uh, you no longer have landing lights. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, right, we're just gonna go ahead and cut the throttle completely, uh, and then as soon as we touch, oh, this isn't a very big, press 2, oh, there we go, yeah, okay, and then we need to press 3 in a second, oh, this is a weird landing. Oh, look at the landing gear. It went sideways. All right, press three. That should be reverse thrusters. Okay. And if we can stop before the end of the runway, that would be beautiful. I don't think we can. Oh, no, maybe. Maybe. Oh, we are slowing down quite a bit now. Look at this. Awesome. Yes. That is pretty cool. And we've stopped, pretty much. That is very, very cool. Yeah. Um, right, so we've landed. That's beautiful. Uh, but I'm kind of thinking we need to try and land on an aircraft carrier. It's it's obviously not meant to do that, but we could totally try. Okay, so in order to take off, we're going to go ahead and activate the reverse thrusters. We're going to push ourselves back to the edge of the runway. And then we're going to take off that way. Unless the brakes are stopping us. Oh. Yeah, we might not actually be able to move in reverse. Yeah, we can't. Okay, well, we got to take off quickly. So let's go ahead and drop the flaps down. Turn the brakes. Oh, there we go. There we go, we're moving backwards. Awesome. Yes, this is going to help us take off. Perfect. 
All right, there we go. We've turned off the reverse thrusters. We are still going backwards at around 65 miles. And that's quick. That is a very quick reverse. Anyway, we're slamming on the brakes now. We'll slam on the air brakes too. And hopefully we can stop before the end. That'd be great. In fact, if we just throttle up, it should stop anyway, right? Oh, we, we've went off the runway. Uh, I mean, that wasn't supposed to happen. But um, I guess it's fine. All right. Air brakes down. Flaps are down. Uh, trim is level. That's fine. Let's go. Yeah, we might bounce as we bump onto the runway a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've bounced a little bit, but we're good. We're good. I hope the USS Beast is ready for this. I don't think it is, though. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Come on. Come on, take off. Oh, God, we can't. Oh, we're at the end of the runway. Oh, wobbly landing gear. We're in the air. All right, that was... That was close. That was very close. We almost weren't able to take off using the full runway. And a bit more, because we weren't even on the runway to begin with. Okay, so at the moment, the way we've actually got this, we're gonna struggle to land. There's, there's no way we don't struggle on landing. Uh, especially when it took us so long to slow down last time. Um, but do we have a landing thing? Yeah, at 18,000 feet, switch from TAS to I... Right, okay, well, we don't do that anyway. We, we never switch this. Uh, but we can. Um, so that's interesting. Um, you can slow down to between 250 to 200 knots. I recommend you avoid flying below 200 knots until you are in the pattern to land. Okay, well, uh, we're at 200 miles an hour. I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're, oh, we're slower than that. Interesting. Okay, landing gear is going to go down now. Uh, I don't think we can actually use these instructions to land, uh, but I'm sure it'll be fine anyway. Okay, I've gone up to 30%. We were on like 25, but we are going very, like, extremely slow right now. Uh, we need to speed up a little bit. Let's take it to 44. All right, we don't seem to be losing speed now. Uh, we are losing altitude quite fast though, so we need more. We need more oomph. We need more power. Go up a bit. There we go. 70%. Alright, that's interesting. Yes, we've still got our flaps down. That's okay. Landing gear's down as well. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the spinny system. Just in case it throws us out a little bit. Um, this is going to be interesting. I, oh, I don't know whether we're going to be able to, I don't even know whether we fit, actually, to be fair. But, um, hopefully we do. <laughs> as soon as we land, I'm pressing 2 and 3. That's reverse thrusters, and that is speed brakes. So hopefully that slows us down a bit. Uh, we can actually go back down to, like, 35 again. All right, speed brakes are going out. Okay. And here we go. Here we go. So we should be landing on that line rather than this line, but this is all we got. So this is what we're doing. Here we go. All right, cut the throttle completely. Pitching up fully. Okay. We're down. We're on the ground. We've turned reverse thrusters on. We're braking. And we have indeed stopped on the aircraft carrier. We did it. Yeah. It makes this plane look very small, by the way. It really does. Anyway, since we've stopped on the ground here, we might as well switch into something else. So let's go find another vehicle to try. Okay, I don't know whether you were expecting this or not, but this is the German Corsair, which uh, is an interesting idea, I suppose. Um, obviously an American plane, but in German livery with the uh, the nasty symbol on it. Anyway, uh, we're going to be taking off. It's got cannons. Wait, wow. Look at those. They're huge. I don't know how they're going to work, but uh, we're going to take off from the carrier. Uh, and then we're going to turn around and we're going to attack the fleet because those look like they can do some damage. So, I guess let's just go for it. Here we go. Throttle up. It was built by Bogdan X, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, we're going to pitch up. We're going to put the flaps down. There we go. And we're just going to go for it. Yes. There we go. Be oh, wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be so easy, but it is in the air. Let's go ahead and get rid of our flaps since we're in the air. And... Okay, do the cannons shoot automatically? I don't think they do. Ooh. Oh, oh, this, this is how they fire. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. These things are actual cannons. Apparently, if we press 1, uh, we get combat power. Which presumably makes us go faster, which it does. 
Yes, we have an arresting hook as well in case we want to land. Um, if we have the arresting hook out and we try and land on the USS Tiny, d I mean, can we? Is that a thing? Does it have arresting uh, cables? I, I don't know about that. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Uh, five is lights. You can turn them on and off. Beautiful. Uh, release bombs. We don't have any bombs. I think it releases the cannons. Oh, we don't want to do that, do we? Wait, should we try and see what it does? Should we just, should we just, uh, we'll do it after. We'll, we'll do the attacking run, and then we'll see what happens afterwards. Yeah. Oh, it's also got fold wings, in case you wanted to fold the wings. And it also has crew mode, only when wings are folded for deck maneuvers. Ah, so we could actually go on the elevators inside there. That would be amazing. I don't think it's been, well, it's been a long time since I've done that. But, um, let's get inside the, uh, oh, here we go. Yes. All right, fire the cannons. This is the, our actual attacking run. Have we hit anything yet? There we go. Oh, we're being hit. We're being, we're actually getting hit. Okay, pull up. We've run out. We've run out. Bug out, bug out. Okay, right, we sank one destroyer. We're going to have to hide behind the USS Beast in order to not get shot by the other one. Oh, it flies through it. Oh, that's not fun. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to turn around. We're going to have to use our actual guns. All I was focused on was the cannons. So we'll turn around. And we'll do another attacking run. Are you ready? Here we go. Right. So we're just going to just gonna shoot it. Here we go. Missiles are locked on to us. But if we go a little bit lower. Yeah, it just shoots the USS Beast. <laughs> it just shoots it. Okay, right. The cannons are working. Or oh, the guns are working. They're just not as powerful as... I wanted them to be. We don't have any anti-air, um, lock on missile. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maneuvers! No! Ripperoni and pepperoni to us. But we did sink it. Yeah, we sank it. Nice. Okay, right. We're going to take off. We're going to fly in a circle. And we're literally going to, uh, we're going to try and land. Because I feel like that's a fun idea. Anyway, landing gear is going to go away. We're going to press that button. Three. Apparently, it drops the bombs. I don't think it's got any bombs, does it? Did I just drop some bombs? I, I have no idea. I didn't see. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the landing gear down again. Okay. Uh, we need to make sure the arresting hook works. Wherever that is. Two. There it is at the back. Beautiful. Uh, what else do we need? I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. So, let's just land it. Okay, here we go. We're, we're going to actually land in the middle of those white lines this time. I never, ever, 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 ever aim for those. Uh, and I'm not very good at carrier landings. So, if this goes well, that's awesome. If it doesn't, then it's kind of expected. <laughs> so, here we go. Come on, come on. We got this. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. If it works, that is. If it doesn't work, it's not going to be beautiful. But, um, yeah. I'm not very good at propeller aircraft. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they never ever seem to go well for me. I don't even need the arresting hook at this point. We've actually landed anyway. Perfect. Look at that. That's awesome. Well, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very, very, very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any ideas on what we can do, uh, let me know, I suppose. That just hooked on while it was up, by the way. While it was in the air, like here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what we can do next, let me know in the comments down below, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.